Hello once again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher at your service. In this video, I will talk about this Atlas Craftsman wheel dresser for a tool post grinder that can be fitted up to either an Atlas or a Craftsman lathe. This was given to me very recently by one Mr. Trenton Hudson. Thank you, Mr. Hudson. And uh, I'm showing it here. And you may have seen it in one of my recent What Is It videos, and some people had it right and knew what it was. And let me show you some catalog pages about this thing first, and then we'll go ahead and mount it on the lathe and dress a wheel. Okay, here it is shown in the 1940 Atlas catalog. That's an old one. On page 21 of this catalog, they're showing the Atlas grinder. Now, I do not have that exact grinder. I've got do more grinders, actually three of them, three different sizes. But here is the dresser in question, and they don't tell you very much about it because, in fact, it was included when you purchased this. It is not listed as a separate item. Now it's shown here, and this is back before they made the 12 inch lathe. They made a 10 inch Atlas lathe, so it fits the 10 inch lathe, but the post on this is adjustable, so I'm able to raise it 1 inch, and then it will fit my 12 inch lathe. I hope it does not lose rigidity. Read the catalog description. And let's move on and look at the same thing in the Sears Craftsman Tool Catalog. So now we'll take a gander at it in the 1966 Sears Tool Catalog. On page 21 also of the Sears Catalog, here is the 12 inch lathe and this is the exact lathe that I have, only I do not have this base with the motor below. But it's a 12 inch, not a 10 inch. And at the bottom of the page, they also show the Craftsman Atlas. Of course, they're the same thing. Tool post grinder, and there is the wheel dressing attachment along with the diamond nibs. By the way, I was not in the hospital. I was at the Thresherman's Fair. My daughter said that they make you wear a yellow one where she works in the hospital if you have a risk of falling down. But, uh, so I'm not, I have not been sick. I've been sickening, maybe. Okay. So notice that I had to raise this up quite a bit to fit my machine, and I hope we do not lack rigidity right here. Now, there was no diamond nib in here when I got this from Trenton, but fortunately I had one in stock, and notice that it can be mounted straight like that or crossways, depending on your setup in the machine and this post can be raised and lowered and I already have it set on the little red line so that it will be on center and this is what clamps it to the bed almost looks like a little shaper doesn't it kinda of cute you can tell I've got shapers on my mind you know what, you've probably seen me use this other homemade dresser, and I might have used it on the Logan or various lathes, and I don't know where I got the red thing, but there you can see a diamond nib very similar to uh, what I just showed you, and these are some milling machine spacers here that gave me the right height. So that's what I had been using, but let me show you a couple others as well. This is a genuine Dumore dresser and the diamond nib right there can be set in this hole or this hole and it has a bit of a v-way here so that when you set your work up in the lathe you could possibly clamp that to the work and then run the wheel across the diamond nib perhaps you have one of these and here's yet another one that I use and I sometimes hold it in a three jaw chuck let my hand be the chuck and run the wheel across. And that's worked pretty good and there is an adjustment here. I don't know if I made this or where it came from. I don't remember and it doesn't matter. Let's go over to the Atlas lathe. 
For purposes of this demonstration, I will be using my medium-sized Dumore tool post grinder. And that was a 3-inch wheel when it was brand new, but as you can see, it's worn down quite a bit. Now, why do we dress a wheel? Well, number one, it gets dull. Number two, it gets grooves and irregularities. And uh, number three, you see I got that mounted on the compound and I can swing it around. I want to make sure that the shaft here or the spindle is parallel or in alignment with the main axis of the machine. And I'll tighten that down, but that's still kind of a guess. So I will dress it and that will bring the face of the wheel in compliance with that axis that I was just talking about. So I'm doing three or four things when I dress the wheel. This is not a complete video on how to use a grinder. I'm just showing you how to set it up. And in this view here, notice that the tailstock center is in alignment with the center of the shaft of the grinder. So I have the right elevation and the grinding wheel is on center with the work. Now this adjustment can be made with the compound or you could lock the compound and swing the tool post on the compound. But what I want to do here is to square up the wheel with this face plate. So there's no center in here and I'm just bringing the wheel up against this and that gets me pretty darn square. I hope you understand why I'm doing that and now I will lock the compound and it's ready for dressing. Now let's set up the dresser. Pretty simple operation. And now I'm setting the nib at the height of the center of the grinder shaft. I told you I already had a red line there, so I'm just repeating. And then I tighten it down with that little set screw. And the diamond is pretty much perpendicular to the spindle. One of the very worst things for any lathe is to have grinding dust and grit fall on any of the bed parts or the slides. So notice that I have this draped. If I was going to do a lot of it, I would moisten the cloth. But all I'm going to do now is remove a few thousands off of the wheel by moving the wheel back and forth, that is the entire carriage, back and forth against the diamond until it trues up. Now you may not be able to see this in the video. I will be looking down this way and probably the color of the face of the wheel will change as I do that. Be sure and wear eye protection, preferably a full face shield when you do this. Okay, here we go. And the first thing I will do is start the grinder and touch the wheel off so it's just barely touching the diamond. Okay, this wheel has been dressed, and look at how nice it is. It's fully clean. There's no grooves in it. There are no rounded corners. In fact, I'm ready to do a little grinding here, but I really have no project that I have to set it up for right now. But uh, this is just all about dressing the wheel, the purposes of it, and how to set this up on your Atlas Craftsman lathe. I hope you enjoyed this. This is somewhat of a repeat of things that I've done in the past, but I'm making a full circle now. So thanks for watching. Tell others about my videos if you will, and I'll see you next time.
lot of junk. Well, we've been in here before, but uh, so how many of these uh, grain grinders do you think you got? About a hundred? Yeah, a hundred, you know, hit and miss. And... These are all corn chillers and fodder cutters and here's, I don't know if you know what these are or not, they're a grinder. There's three of them here. Those this, are bone this, grinders. Huh? Bone? Yeah. This one here I got up in Michigan last year. This one is hit and miss here. So, it's time to go to school. <laughs>